Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. So today I am officially 28 weeks, which means I am officially in the third trimester, which I literally cannot believe and wrap my head around because I feel like this pregnancy has just been flying by. I feel like I just found out that I was pregnant yesterday. It's just crazy. So I just wanted to do a second trimester recap. And also I want to show you guys the Amazon um, like baby box they send you when you create a registry with Amazon. They send you like a bunch of free goodies and like a little bag. So I want to show you guys what I got. Um, from that, I know you also can get one from Target, but I haven't gone yet, but I do want to go. And then maybe I'll film that Target one in another video. And then I also have a little haul from Old Navy for myself and for baby. Um, I didn't get like, well, I guess I got like a couple of maternity things, but then I also got some oversized sweaters, like long sleeves that I'm so excited about. Um, they're not maternity. I just like prefer oversized clothes. So I'll show you those but first let's do a little recap of my second trimester so overall to be honest i felt really good my entire pregnancy from like day one my first trimester i felt amazing my only symptom was like fatigue and then my second trimester going into my second trimester i felt honestly amazing my fatigue went away i had um have still so much energy i did not feel like i needed to nap during the day which was like refreshing because my second trimester i was literally sleeping every day it was crazy so my energy was back i felt so so good i did not have any food aversions or anything like that in the beginning i know i was kind of like grossed out by like raw meat and stuff i still like would cook like raw meat and chicken and stuff like that but i just like I don't know, I became more cautious and I started to wear like gloves and stuff. So, but no like food aversions, nothing to a point where I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to throw up or like I can't eat this and things like that. Yeah, like some days I honestly would like forget I'm pregnant uh, because I just like wouldn't really feel much. And then um, 16 and a half weeks is when I started to feel baby move in my belly for the first time. I felt like little flutters. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but then it just like wouldn't stop and it ha started happening like more and more. And then well into the second trimester, of course, it became more and more and like stronger and stronger which is like such a nice feeling but we had our 20 week anatomy scan also and that went well um i did blood work that was in the beginning but the 20 week anatomy scan they confirmed the gender so we are having a baby girl um we know that for sure now we're very excited about that and we got the cutest profile picture of her you guys during our um 20 week ultrasound scan let me show it to you this is what our sweet little baby girl looks like isn't the picture so good i was like so proud of this picture because i thought it was like pretty clear for like what it is you can see her um her like outline of like her face like pretty well i feel like i don't know this was like my favorite little ultrasound picture she's so cute it just like i don't know and it, like i remember in the ultrasound she was like opening her mouth and stuff um while like they were like looking and checking and stuff like that yeah wow i'm out of breath um but yeah of course it was like nerve-wracking like waiting for that ultrasound and that anatomy scan because you just want to make sure everything is okay you want to make sure baby is okay so it's always a little bit a little bit of anxiety like leading up to that but now that that's over you know baby's healthy so everything is good so we're very very happy and blessed to hear that so yeah and i can't believe that's literally going to be our last ultrasound until she's born i am considering doing 3d or 4d ultrasound we're not sure yet if we're going to do that because i've heard there are some like downsides to it um and like some people say like it's not worth doing it because it's not really good for you or the baby because it's too strong and then when i talked to my provider she said that Basically, those machines are not regulated like the ultrasound machines are at the hospital. Obviously, they're like not the same thing. So she said like, will it like harm you or the baby if you like do it once? Like no, but also use your own discretion. Like if you want to do it, like you can do it. She was basically like, whatever, it's up to you. So we're still thinking about it. I'm 28 weeks, so it's a little bit early. I know some people do it like well into the 30s, like 34 weeks and stuff like that. So we're still thinking considering it and 
yeah so and it's kind of nice because they also send you like the video of the ultrasound you can also put the baby's heartbeat and like a stuffed animal and stuff like that so they do a lot of cute things at this local little 4d 3d ultrasound clinic near me but we're still thinking about it towards the end of second trimester i noticed that i started to get out of breath more easily um you know whether it's like walking doing things around the house and stuff like that and right now i'm talking i don't know also when i film videos i don't know why i feel like i have to rush but i talk like pretty fast i feel like so i get out of breath right now is an example um so I started noticing that I do get a little bit out of breath whenever I uh, am doing things now, which like wasn't the case before, obviously. Another thing is I have been steadily gaining about a pound a week uh, to two pounds, depending. Like some weeks it's like two pounds, I think. And in other weeks it's like a pound, a pound and a half. Um, I feel like I'm going to break the 200 pound mark by the end of this pregnancy, I swear. My friend was like the same starting weight as me when we um, when she was pregnant and she broke the 200 pound mark. She gave birth at like I want to say 204, 203, I could be wrong, but I know it was past 200 a little bit. So I just can't like imagine like weighing 200 pounds, like that's going to be crazy. But hopefully I can get that weight off after she's born and then another thing i've been noticing is also this is like towards the end like weeks 26 27 28 i feel like it's just like harder for me now to like bend down to pick things up like uh, whenever i have to get something off the floor or even like going in the fridge on like the lowest uh the lowest um shelf to get something and things like that it's just like harder for me to bend down so i've noticed that like your belly is in the way kind of feels heavy and stuff like that i also don't know if i mentioned it i noticed that it is a lot harder for me to carry heavy things now i'm not talking like super heavy things but you know like in the beginning i like felt pretty light weight like my belly wasn't big or anything like that i could like carry my makeup case and everything like that to jobs like just fine now i definitely have to make two trips because i just like can't carry heavier things and i shouldn't be but i'm just noticing that i feel like a strain on my stomach so I try to really be careful whenever I'm carrying like anything heavy and like take two trips if anything. And yeah, you guys, I'm not noticing any stretch marks, huh? knock on wood, not on my belly, not on my hips, nowhere. I mean like on my butt, I had them like before, before I was pregnant, like a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to get stretch marks because I know like they can be genetic. My mom did not get any stretch marks, not with me, not with my brother. So I'm hoping that I will be the same um my belly feels good not itchy or anything like that i use the Walita baby oil for it along with this like lotion that i bought off amazon and i'm not very consistent i'll be honest with you guys like i don't apply it every single day at all um just like some days whenever i feel like it and whenever i remember i'll apply that but yeah so i've just been taking my uh prenatals which i'll show you guys so i tried a few different prenatals with this pregnancy i switched a couple times to try different ones and these are the ones that i kept going back to these are the garden of life vitamin code raw prenatal whole food vitamin nutrition for mom and baby so this is what it looks like i've been taking these and then i got like the big one because i was like tired of purchasing the smaller ones so I've been taking these and then I also recently started adding in the prenatal DHA, DPA, uh, pregnancy and lactation vegan omega-3. So I just added some omegas. So I just added some omega into um, my, I want to say diet. But basically I take these two um, together. I like that this is vegan. I feel safe taking it. And then I also take a probiotic every day. So that's it you guys that's all for my update i think let me show you my belly really quick and this is my 28 week baby bump you can see here all right so i got my packages i'm so excited to show it to you guys so literally up until like 26 weeks i did not buy anything for her and at 26 weeks i purchased first like three little outfits for her um of course like our friends got us a few things like some clothing pieces but i never got anything for her myself so i want to show you what i got i placed an order at old navy because i saw another blogger i follow uh, mentioned these little bodysuits for babies and you guys oh my god i got like so emotional when i first opened the package but anyways i got her this first cute little 
bodysuit i hope you guys can see well this i got in zero to three months i got it in like this baby pink color and the reason why um she recommended is because it's super super stretchy i guess so it fits them a little bit longer actually um do you want to get like the um, the ribbed material kind and i'll link these down below and it comes with little hand covering things so you don't need to get like the mittens so i got the color pink and then i got the um gray one for her i got it in three to six months i'm buying them pretty big so i got a gray one and then i got her three to six also but this is like a brownie like beige color also three to six months so these are the first couple things that i bought for her and yeah we haven't like gotten anything else for her at all we haven't gone like baby shopping i haven't looked online nothing these are the first little things i got for baby so yeah but i also got like a ton of hand-me-downs with literally labels on still on them um from someone so i have like a lot of her stuff uh, which is kind of nice and honestly i was really really excited because she is a winter baby i knew i needed like a winter like like coat for her to take her to like the doctors and stuff like that uh, because she is due in november and when i got the hand-me-downs there was like a brand new pink gap like um zero to three months i think um little like onesie for the outside so i was like oh my god this is literally perfect and then i got like my first christmas outfit also as a hand-me-down you know i just don't want to spend the money on like a one day outfit also i'm not really like into like those outfits like oh my first christmas da, da, da. but like if i got it like i'll use it you know so let me show you what i got off of gold navy for myself we have these pajamas i got them in a size large and these are maternity uh cami top and short set let me see what size it is so it comes with a little cami i think i got a medium why would i get a large yeah i got a medium so it comes with a little tank looks like this i got it in like a dark gray as you can see and it's kind of like ruffled on the bottom so i got that and this is breastfeeding friendly it has little clasps on here so i think i'll use this a ton i already have a set similar it's not breastfeeding though no it's not from h m and i love that one so i got a similar one and then these shorts that come with it um for like the belly band for your belly so i'll wear these now for sure like while i'm pregnant obviously and then i'm sure i'll get a ton of wear out of this also when when she comes so i got this in a medium and then what i was most excited about is these oversized sweatshirts i got two colors a pink and a beige she gray i live in oversized clothing and sweatshirts specifically and these looked promising online i got it in a size large and tall because i am 5'11 and this looks ginormous let me let me put it on see what it looks like on because the problem is like you can get an oversized quote-unquote sweatshirt that you see online but oftentimes like if you're a tall girl like it doesn't look it's not actually oversized on you you know and not long enough so that's the problems that i normally face let me see all right so this is what the sweatshirt looks like it's pretty like long in the back you can see my belly um I don't know how i feel about it i don't know if i should just get these in a large and not a tall because i almost feel like it's too long now i'm not sure you guys i might because i'm thinking if i get it in like a regular and not a tall it might be better it won't be as long i think i feel like it's a little too long but i wear these like all the time but you can see there's like so much room for belly still and i'll wear this now and when i'm not pregnant also but let me try on the beige one and this is the like brown color um this is also in a tall and a large so i don't know i think i'll keep them because like maybe they'll shrink when i wash them and put them in the dryer but i think i may order one more or maybe i'll return one and get another one but i'll get it in like um like a large but or like a medium tall i don't know we'll see because i'm not like 100 percent sold on the fit like i like it but i don't love it like it doesn't feel 
right but let me show you guys what i got off of the goodie bag i got from amazon when you make a register. right you guys i changed positions a little bit i got the bag literally got the bag so this is how it came in a box from amazon i don't know i already said that i think I already said I think that I want to get it from Target as well just to see what they have. So let me show you what I got in mine and let me know if yours was similar. I'm just going to pull things out randomly. So whatever, some kind of paper, download the app, blah, blah, blah. So first I got the MAM. I heard about this brand before. The, I think it's how I pronounce it, MAM. Easy Start Anacolic Pacifier and Bottle. So it's this cute little baby bottle i heard amazing things about this so i'm super excited to try this and this is what it looks like and then inside oh actually this like unscrews and then you get like a little passy oh my goodness look at this so cute and i guess like this little ring is what prevents it from like getting air bubbles i don't really know but anyways so this will be perfect for like a newborn the size um is four ounces i'm pretty sure so i got that in there and then i got this cute little onesie also this is from simple joys three to six months a little onesie in here with different kinds of animals so that was in there and then i got oh that's from the man from the bottle that i already opened a couple of like ad things to get like discounts and stuff and then to get your um, breast pumps if you wanted um, something. And then this was interesting. I didn't open this. Let me open it. This says it's a daily diaper rash spray. It's water, salt, and electricity removes germs from skin. Zinc-free, mess-free spray, hypoallergenic, sting-free. And it basically says to spray... Um, that like area whenever you're changing a diaper so i thought it was like an interesting com concept i've never heard of this before and this is like the name of the brand here um so there was that in there to try so that's cool baby brisa like bottle ad thing also you guys did you ever get um the bottle sterilizer for your baby because i had it on my registry and then i literally was like i don't want it and i don't need it I was just going to bring all of her bottles um, that I would be using potentially to my friend's house to sterilize the first time. And then I wasn't going to sterilize them every single time I used them. So I just like took it off my registry because I just don't, I want like less stuff. And some people are saying like, oh my God, like no, you need it. Like especially in the first like three months of your baby being born. Other people are like, no, you don't, like you're fine. So I think it's a kind of like a controversial topic. I don't really know, but I think I'm going to stick to the fact that I'm not going to buy one. But let me know if you did. I'm curious. And then we got the Vivian Bloom 2-in-1 Wash and Shampoo Cleansing Gel for Baby. This is what it looks like. So that was in there as a trial, like sample thing. And then these, um, this generous size actually packet. I don't know how I'm going to do the oil, you guys. Because once you open this, like this is way too much oil to use at once. So I have to put it into something, I think. But anyways, it's a stretch mark oil and lotion. I think we all know this brand. I've never tried it. I use something different for my body right now. What else do we have in here? Then we have breastfeeding samples inside. Oh, I think these are like uh, nipple covers, like reusable ones. Or no. Yeah, two disposable nursing pads and two storage breast milk bags. So that's really, really cool and handy. I already have some of that on my registry as well. And then we have wash and shampoo and moisturizing lotion from Sarah V as well to try out for baby. Two cute little mini sizes. I'm really curious what the Target one has now. Like, I want to know. And then we have Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Healing Ointment. Um for baby by the way did you know that it doesn't matter if it says baby it's still off before it's just like a marketing thing but anyway so that's in there i honestly might use this for myself like now such a small sample and then in here i'm super excited about this actually this is stage one swaddle me original swaddle adjustable baby wrap uh one pack i got the gray one or they sent me a gray one i should say so it's like a little baby wrap thing 
I think it's really good and calming to swaddle babies. Like they feel so calm in the beginning. Um, I know that based off of my friend's baby. He loves being swaddled. And that's it, you guys. That's everything that was in my bag. I thought it was like a decent amount of stuff. I mean, it's not like amazing like samples, but there were some cute little things like the onesie and I like the bottle. I think those two things that I'm most excited about and then the breast um, storage bags and stuff like that was also cool, but you only get two of them, but it's fine. So yeah, that was what I got in my Amazon little goodie bag for when you make a registry. And then maybe in like a future video, I'll include what I got in the... Um, target one if i ever end up getting it but yeah so i think i'm gonna end this video here it's been so freaking long i feel like i filmed so much if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys